Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Neela Mahuja. Today we are going to do something a little different. Normally I come to you to talk about a specific item by the row. Today I'm going to review pieces that look like the row. I do this quite on, actually on the regular. I go into Uniqlo and Massimo Dutti and, and um, I shop at Holt Renfrew and look at theory pieces and I just, I share them on my stories on Instagram, but maybe I just, I'm not doing it enough here. When I went shopping this particular day, I was on the hunt for three pieces by the row that I love. Uh, the Diana coat, the Malika coat, and the schoolgirl jacket, and I scored. And then I found a fourth piece that reminded me of a, a row dress I had seen, and I'll save that for the end, because that one was a surprise. I was not, it was not planned. So before we get into where I went, what I found, I'll talk to you about what I wore. I wanted an outfit that would work with all the pieces I was going to try, so I just a basic tee, and my my row belt, my AMI pair of skirt, my ranger boots, and my salic scuba coat, which is light and fitted, but not so fitted, and moves beautifully as I walk. Scuba material is, on that one is just great, and it, it was relatively affordable. I went in with that outfit because I knew it would work with a lot of the pieces I was going to try on. So the Diana coat next to the mango lipstick coat. These coats, to me, look very similar. The key is getting that mango coat in the right size. I'm five foot two, normally an extra small, but this is a large. You probably could go up two sizes, but maybe two to three sizes. I think the Canadian stock has already been depleted for this one. I will link the item from the US site. Don't worry. Mango does these kinds of styles now and then, and I'll come back to it. But this is a great piece looks-wise. Obviously, the fabrication isn't the same as the row. You're paying for the name. You're paying for the uncompromising quality. The material that the row uses is crazy good. But it also comes with a hefty price tag. Now, normally, I don't push fast fashion but I think Mango is unique in this way. Same with Uniqlo. I really think that they have figured out how to do the low-end timeless pieces well. The next one I wanted to try on was the coat that reminded me of the Malika coat by the row. And I think the Mango calls this the Batten coat. It's single-breasted, tied, no closure, and it feels light like the Malika coat and it's felted like the Malika coat and obviously the quality of the material is not the same up close but the look of it really does make me think of my Malika coat and of the two if you could only buy one I think I would do this one because it's more versatile and it's elegant and you can wear it with a dress in the evening and it would really be pretty. I think either one of these two coats are excellent options. My next visit was to Holt Renfrew and specifically for theory because I wanted to find a blazer that reminded me of the schoolgirl jacket. Theory is a brand I wore endlessly in the 90s when I was working in um, corporate finance. I'm a chartered accountant. I don't know if I, all of you know that. That is where I came from. Those are my roots. And it was hard back in the early 90s to find suiting that would work for someone with my frame. And back then I was even smaller. And then I, I found theory and I rarely had to make adjustments because they offered cropped styles. I lived in their stretch cotton shirts and pants. They offered them in a multitude of colors. And between them and Laundry by Shelly Siegel and Tahari, Eli Tahari. I was very happy to have found those brands and Theory was my absolute go-to. They still make quality pieces. The Rose Schoolgirl jacket is a really beautiful shrunken boy type blazer and it's a classic and it's been in their line for a very long time. And I did a photo shoot with 119 Corvo and chose to style that. And after I had done the shoot, I needed to have the blazer. But this particular blazer by Theory would have served me just as well. What I love about the blazer versus the one that I have is the rose version is a bracelet sleeve length and this is full sleeves. And I prefer the full sleeves because my arms are already too long in my humble opinion. And so I like that version. And it, it looks beautiful and it moves well. The quality was excellent, is excellent. The surprise piece 
was this dress. I found a dress that reminded me of the row runway Dario dress. You will remember that strapless piece that just would make you feel like a princess in black. <laughs> Fitted at the waist, pockets, floor sweeping. Really, really pretty. The problem with that dress for me is it had a little bit of mohair in it and I'm extremely sensitive to mohair and angora and lamb's wool. Even a little trace of it will send me scratching, so I couldn't do it. It was at the sample sale, I couldn't buy it. Anyway, I'll let you listen to me ramble on about this dress and then I'll come back. Putting on this beautiful dress by Totem, it will remind you, I'm sure, of the runway dress by the row. Uh, this is a size four. I needed two, they didn't have a two. I tried the zero, that was funny. Um, and then the four is falling down. It's gorgeous and I think it would be nice layered as well. It has pockets, it's very much like that row runway dress, but without the mohair. If you loved that one, you're, you're gonna love this one and, and the price is very different, of course. Oh, as I mentioned, I wore the size four and I thought I needed a two, but you know, in hindsight, I probably would go to a six. The reason is, is I want the length. I want the length of the Dario dress and I need to go up in size. The only issue would be is how far down those pockets might go, but I have a tailor that could figure that out for me. So maybe that's not such a big deal. I also love that this dress by Totem is a wool blend. So it's very comfortable, really beautiful fabrication. Needs a steam obviously from the video. Um, and I tried it on top of the outfit I was wearing and it looks so good. So layered up, it looks fantastic. And that is it for today. These are some really good key pieces and will absolutely give you a row vibe. If you are interested in more of these videos, I'm happy to do them. Just leave me a comment and uh, we'll go from there. That is my row dupe review. I don't, <laughs> we need to come up with a name for these videos. But anyways, you can find me on Instagram uh, or find me back here for another row review.